guys. Um, today I am going to eat um, green curry. So I made green curry. I don't actually know, you know, how to make it. This is my first time making it. I just had a green curry packet, so I just decided to um, get all the vegetables that I want to eat today. Uh, mix it up with the beef, minced beef that I have. So this is what the green curry looks like here. So it's got um, juice in it because I like a lot of gravy and it's got tomatoes. I like my tomatoes really melted and um, there's green beans. At first I cooked it with, I put some oil in the pan and then I put a lot of garlic and some green chilies which are completely cooked through now because I want it spicy. I did that as a base and um, I put in some sausages as well and then I put in the rest of my vegetables and the, the green sauce in it and then the minced beef last like just like make it into small balls and put it in last so this is how I cooked my green curry and then I have my just this is in remembrance of my granddad because he used to eat um, just cut up onions red onions like small ones and um, have them in immersed in water like that apparently it's good for some sort of disease so in remembrance of him, I'm eating that today. Yeah. Haven't done it in ages. I don't eat green onions at all. I mean red onions, but you know, raw. Um, but we're gonna eat them today. And here is quinoa. Hope it focuses well. But I, I'm sure everybody apart from me knows what quinoa looks like. It's just, I've never had it before. And I'm gonna try it today and I don't even know if this is the right amount and I don't know whether it's cooked I just made it and I tasted it and I was like hmm I like this check texture it's bouncy so I took it off it kind of tastes like lentils I think I like it so let me try it with some lemon zest to see if I like it better. I didn't even put any um, salt or anything in it. Mm. It's good. I'm gonna put some curry onto it and try. Let's take the first taste of the soup. Mm. Oh, is it a bit salty? Mm. Good stuff. If it is salty, eat it with something else. Like rice with quinoa, pasta, whatever you got. I'm going to use my technique of squeezing lemons again, or lime. That's not my saliva, that's just pure lemon juice, lime juice. I'm just using the force of my teeth because I've got weak fingers. Let's taste it again. tastes better with lemon. Why is that? This is a whole chili, this one. That's a green bean. Let's try it. Let me show you a bite first. So you can see the, the chili here. And this is the green bean on the other side. Mmm. The chili is not too hot anymore. All the hotness is already out. Focus. Oh. Let me do this thing. This thing. Everybody knows what an onion looks like, okay? But I'm eating at home. That's special.
Mm-hmm. It's strong. But that's why you choose small ones. And then keeping them in water like that also takes out the smell. To, like it's not too overpowering. It can actually taste nice if you eat it with something else. So I'm gonna do that again. Green onion, piece of meat. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Good crunch. And I've got some green peppers in here as well. Green pepper. Ooh, I don't know if you can see the steam, guys. It's so steamy. Mmm. I'm being able to cook a little bit more these days and I'm thankful for it. Once I squeeze it with my teeth, I can squeeze the rest with my fingers. It's just that if the limes are hard and not so juicy, even if you like roll them on the counter before you cut them, they're still quite hard to squeeze. But now this should do it. Mmm. This gravy and lime go so well. I got a piece of onion and some meat in here. Dip it into gravy. Let's go. Mm. This definitely isn't the green curry that I've tasted in Thai restaurants. But it tastes good in its own way. I'm not complaining, I like it. And I also have a, a black pepper sauce pack to try. I'll do that next time. Don't know what I'll cook it with though. <clears throat> Any idea? What should I cook the black pepper sauce with? <clears throat> I'm really liking this quinoa. You know, I think I've actually said before that I, I have a, a food review channel on Facebook called TBH Food, to be honest, food reviews. And that one's like properly done, right? I'm working with some friends. They actually have a cameraman and an edit team. <coughs> and this is just for fun, just for me. Nobody knows about it. So I was wondering whether I should let people on Facebook know that I actually have a YouTube page or should I just keep this private and you know do it for my own enjoyment just cook whatever I like and keep on putting it up with you know without thinking about entertaining people or <clears throat> getting views or you know anything like that just literally cook and put it up if you like the like it that day um, so, you know, should I keep it a secret or should I let them know? I don't know. I mean, I hardly have anybody here looking at this. I have like one or two maybe. So, and, and these one or two don't really talk to me, which is fine. Like it makes me even be able to talk and do whatever I want even more because I'm, you know, I know I'm not being watched. 
but I still want to have my food out there. So. So it doesn't matter about the views here, but it does matter about the views over over at the other channel, because you know, we've got to be paid and we've got staff to pay. Oh, one of, one of your job is a food review person. What do you do at your free time? Like after food, what do you do? More food. <laughs> right here. More food. What do you do at your free time after doing food reviews? More food. I'm happy that I've been able to capture days that are not ramen now because of course I do eat other things other than ramen but it seems like when I'm in the mood to <clears throat> take a video it's always ramen days so it's good that I'm doing other stuff so it's good for me use up this one lime but <clears throat> I kind of don't need it the old me would say don't waste it you'll probably like just let it spoil in the thing and not use it for a while so you might as well use it now and I'll squeeze it but because it's so hard to squeeze this one I won't I really like the texture of quinoa. I really do. But it's so expensive, I can't actually eat it as a rice, rice substitute. I want to. But I can't afford it. Oh, I'm like talking and eating so much at the same time. I'm tired. is hot I don't mean to be doing big bites today actually it's just that I got myself a soup, soup spoon instead of a tablespoon so I'm having to open my mouth wider to fit this in There is a mukbang girl. Oh, there are too many things I want to talk about. There's a mukbang girl that I saw in some of her videos where she chugs a big mouthful of food, <clears throat> but she still manages to close the food and chew it like com with composure. How does she do that? But that's talent. Like, shove a truck in your mouth, but only look like you're chewing on a bicycle. I want to keep eating this quinoa just for the texture, because it's so bouncy. Did I say it already? It's like lentils. Might have done. This food is getting hot. The heat is getting to me.
Mau mau all nam so. Onion. Come here. So in this one, we got some onion, and then we got some two pieces of sausages, and some green beans. That wasn't even a big bite. <clears throat> but I still can't fit all the food in my mouth. Whereas this girl does it so well. And she dislocated her jaw like a snake. I don't know. I actually might try to make some marinated crabs myself, by myself, you know? Because I've been looking at the recipe a couple of times and it's, it's tedious. That's why I didn't want to do it, but like I really want to eat it. I've ordered and eat it from outside before, but I don't think it tastes like it's supposed to taste like. Even though I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. So I just want to do it myself. I keep wanting to drink that because I think it's a glass of water but it's a jar of onion water so no seems like I am going to finish the quinoa it is not difficult Oh, I don't think I need to take a break from chewing and swallowing so much, so fast. <clears throat> and, um, I feel like I try to like get stuff out from from my gums just like now I think I'll do that and it's like I think it's rude or I think it's gross so I'll try not to do it in front of people <clears throat> or in, in front of camera but it's hard not to do because you do get stuff on your gum like little quinoa these tiny little tiny little tails these tails are so cute by the way I love these tails it was like, I cooked this with my rice cooker, and then there are like loads of little tails all around the rice cooker, and then I just went like that and ate it, because <clears throat> it was good. Um, but yeah, like these little things are so small. Does it actually help focus? I don't think so. I have a shit phone. Anyway. What was I saying? Oh yeah, those, those, these are small and panickety and goes it goes in your gums and between, you know, this this lip, this covering or bit of skin. Um, and yeah, so you gotta do this. You sweep it, you know, you gotta do it. So I apologize if I gross you guys out. The two and a half people that watches me. But um, yeah, that's how I eat now. Onion. I have a fork. I do. So. I didn't need to eat it so difficultly. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. 
You know I'm going to America soon. I mean, if I'm thinking about what I'm, if I'm talking about what's on my mind. I'm visiting the boy. And I've never <clears throat> Oh, so if anybody wants anything from Yangon who does watch this um, can ask for stuff from here and I can buy you a little souvenir and post it to your house or something That would mean you have to give me an address. That's weird. No, I won't bring anything um, But Oh yes, I was going to talk about Fashion Nova. I want to buy stuff from there. Because I've never owned anything from there. And it seems to be a very popular brand. And Cardi B talks about it a lot. And I like her. So I want to order a couple of things and see what I get. And decide if it is good. The end is coming for this quinoa. I was like, there's too much gravy, I probably won't finish it. That's a lie. Thank God I drained the oil after I put in the sausages. I knew it. I knew if the gra gravy was sour and spicy, I would start drinking it. So I decided to drain it. Well done, Kin. Come here, Quinoa. Every bit of yellow tail. Must get into my belly. Mm. <clears throat> you must think I only have one plate at home. I accidentally always choose this one. Maybe because it's a rounded square. I don't know. But yeah, that's dinner. It was good. I like how my outros are. Yeah, that was good. Bye. <laughs> but yeah. Mm. Mm. I couldn't beat the other video. It's 24 minutes now. Until I have an outro and intro theme song or something, I guess I'll just do this. Have a different one every day. Today I'm going to end with counting. Four, three, two, one.